Israel's democracy is under attack like never before. Since taking office less than a year ago, Netanyahu's ultra-nationalist right-wing government has passed or put forward 225 controversial new laws, an incredible number, all part of a carefully planned strategy to crush the country's judicial independence in order to grab more power and dismantle Israel's democratic state. This is why every week for over eight months, hundreds of thousands of Israelis from different political, social, and religious backgrounds have been out in the streets protesting as one to save the country's democracy. Here are just some of the 225 destructive laws this radical government has proposed. The nationalization of the media, weakening the independent news channels while strengthening Channel 14, which parrots and amplifies Netanyahu's messages. This law will end freedom of the press, forcing all media and news channels under the control of the Prime Minister. The basic judiciary law, which will eliminate the Supreme Court as the single check on undemocratic legislation, granting unlimited power to the government and the Prime Minister. New laws giving unlimited powers of arrest, including the arrest of peaceful protesters, and putting the power to restrict movement of individuals in the hands of Itamar Ben-Gvir, the racist minister of national security, who is known for his dangerous disregard for human rights. A vast expansion of the powers of the rabbinic courts to preside over civil issues according to anachronistic Jewish laws, which dictate the supremacy of men over women. Imposing separate swimming areas for men and women, a slippery slope that could lead to the legal segregation of men and women on buses and in all public spaces, legitimizing the growing number of shameless acts of vandalism in which women's faces are erased from billboards in the name of religious modesty. New red lines are being crossed daily with every law that's being proposed. Netanyahu's government is making radical changes to civil society in the state of Israel that will have devastating consequences. Now is the time for you to step up and stand with the majority of Israelis who are fighting to save their democracy. This is not the time to be on the fence. Don't let Netanyahu and his government destroy Israel. Join the fight to save Israel's democracy.